Hi, welcome back to new After Effects tutorial. All the download links are in the description. Extract the zip file you've downloaded. You can find the footages you need. I have included 2019 version Margaret's. Open After Effects. Create a new composition, use full HD, 30 FPS, black color as background. Again create a new sequence, which is used to generate a 3D look for the text. Use code bold font, set the size to 150, and align the text to center and middle. Turn on tracking for the text layer and set the amount to minus 12. And set the amount to 57 at the last frame. Set the effect to easy ease in. Place the text composition inside the main composition. And add gradient overlay to the text. Change the gradient, that's similar to metallic. Duplicate the text layer. Place the duplicated layer to the second. Set the scale to 97. Make the duplicated text's gradient a bit darker.
Create a new composition. This will go above the main text. Set the font size to 50 and align it to the middle. Copy the effects of the main text and paste here. Place the text to the third layer in the main composition. Copy and paste the gradient color to it. Make a duplicate of that layer, set the scale to 99, and copy and paste the darkened version of the gradient. Enable 3D layer and motion blur for all the text layers. Create a folder called Assets and add the footages there. Add looping particles, flip it vertical, and set the opacity to 30%. Adjust the curves according to the video. Add lens flare and set the blend mode to add. Add particles, change the blend mode to add and turn on 3D layer. Add spark footage, it will give a cool flame effect. Create a new camera layer, preset is 35mm. Create a new null object and link the camera to null object. Set the position of null object to minus 1880 at the first, 95 at the eighth frame, and 250 at the last frame.
Apply easy ease in for the 8th frame of null object. Adjust the lens flare with your keyboard arrows and get to a bit above. Create a new solid layer, this will act as a cinematic bar. Crop in a little bit and subtract it. Create a new adjustment layer and change the curves according to the video. Set the sharpen amount to 50. Set the noise amount to 15. Looks cool, isn't it? Let's see how to convert this into a Margaret file. Open Essential Graphics panel and select the master to the main composition. Add both the text layers to the Essential Graphics panel.
Now you can export this as a Mogrid and use it in Premiere Pro very easily. Open Premiere Pro. Drag and drop the Mogret file to the Essential Graphics panel. Drag and drop the Mogret to the timeline. Now you can edit the text easily in the edit panel. Thanks for watching.